Oh boy, we've all been waiting for this. Google finally dropped Gemini 3 Pro, but not just that, they've also released a new IDE called Anti-Gravity. And I'm honestly surprised on how good this is. So without further ado, subscribe to Weekly How if you haven't yet, and let's begin. Now to get started, open your browser and search for Google Anti-Gravity. It's still very new, so new that it doesn't even have an icon yet in the search results, as you can see here. But anyway, just go to antigravity.google and that should lead you to the following page. From here, you can download the IDE. Now while we're waiting for this, let me give a quick overview of what Antigravity is. It's an AI IDE, it's Google's agentic development platform meant to, I guess, compete with Cursor or Windsurf. And inside of this IDE, you have an extremely smart agent that can not only develop web applications, but also debug and test your apps because you can connect this to a browser. We'll get back to that later on in this video. But anyway, this is great, especially for full stack developers or front end developers, right? All right, so here it is. I've installed the IDE and I'm gonna be honest, there were some issues in the process or during the whole installation process, specifically when I was signing in with my Google account. It looks like I can't use a Google Workspace account or at least for now. So if you wanna try this out, which you should, by the way, because this is free, um, you need to use a Gmail account. You can't use a workspace account, just Gmail account for now, okay? So here it is. Allow me to introduce to you Anti-Gravity, an AI IDE that looks exactly like VS Code. I guess it is a VS Code fork. It is a VS Code fork. So here on the left, we have the prompt box where we can also change the model to other models like Gemini 3 Pro High, Low, Cloud Sonnet 4.5, and 4.5 Thinking, and even a GPT open source model. And then next to this, you have two agent types. You have planning and fast. Planning is what what you will use if you want to do a spec driven development. So essentially this agent will take your prompt and turn it and generate a set of documents detailing the tech stack and the list of tasks needed to be needed to build your web application. Whereas fast, it will just work on the project without planning. Now, what's interesting about Antigravity is the Agent Manager. This opens a new window where you can manage all the projects or workspaces you've created. So this is really nice because it lets you quickly switch from one project to another. Super easy. But anyway, I'm super excited to try this out. So here I'll just prompt on a new project folder. Let's create a new tower defense game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and 3JS. Do not use NPM or install NPM libraries. Let's send it. And there we go, as you can see, it created these two markdown files, implementation and task. These are similar to Kiro's um, spec design and task setup, except this IDE just creates two markdowns, which honestly is much better because let's be honest, none of you are gonna read it, right? Be honest, don't lie to me, you don't read them. So yeah, you have everything in this document, you have the overview of the project, the project structure, the components, etc. And then in the task file, you have a list of tasks that actually looks much better compared to Kiro's task file. This is much cleaner because you don't have those numeric references that Kiro uses. And well, let's give it a shot and you can either command the agent to start building the project in the prompt box, or you can just click this review button and say, looks good to me. That should send the same message. And here you go, it's building the app and now it's checking off some of the boxes in the task list. Okay, so now it's done. Let's give it a try by running the project in a browser. Oh, it doesn't work. Looks like I need to run it on a server. So here I'll just run bon run index.html. There we go, now click the URL. Okay, it doesn't work either. Well, this is not a good sign. Let's take a screenshot and send it to Gemini. Oh wait, you know what? Let me try Bon instead. Not sure if it's gonna make a difference, but there's nothing wrong with trying, right? So here, Bon index.html. Let's open this. It's also not working. It's asking me to install a package. Okay, you know what? Let's use npx http dash server instead. There we go. Let's wait for it. And then open this local URL. 
And there we go. We have the game. This looks super basic. We have a path, towers when we click on the grid, and enemies that walk on a path. And the towers are shooting. I don't see any issues at all. This is a good one shot. Now, the next feature I'd like to show you is the debugger. This IDE lets you use a browser and you can ask the agent to debug your app. So for example, here I asked Gemini 3 to debug the app in a browser and the agent opened a window or a browser window. You can also do it here. You can see a Chrome icon and then in the browser, it'll ask you to install a Chrome extension. And once that is installed, the agent should be able to take over and debug your application. This is great if you have a web app with tons of forms, for example, or inputs, and you just don't want to, you know, type manually. So you can just ask the agent to fill the forms for you and it'll do it. Now, for those of you who don't want to use this IDE or this anti-gravity IDE and you just want to try Gemini 3 Pro, you can also use AI Studio. You can just go to AI Studio and just use the app builder. And here by default, it should use the Gemini 3 Pro. So let's do it here. Let's build a GTA 6 game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And here is the game. Honestly, I don't understand why Rockstar had to delay the game. They can literally just use Gemini 3 and everything's gonna be okay. On a serious note though, Gemini 3 Pro is good. I give it another shot and I ask it to build a landing page for Gemini 3 Pro. And this is how it looks like. It managed to build one. I mean, of course, I had minor nitpicks here and there, like the colors or this pricing menu that doesn't have anything in it. Now, if you want to see the benchmarks, here they are. It had a massive improvement, not just in coding, but in other areas as well, like academic reasoning, mathematics, and screen understanding from 11.4% to 72.7%. That is massive. I've seen it myself. This model managed to understand what was happening inside of the game. And they even mentioned why I was getting issues with Bon earlier. Overall, these are impressive numbers. Now guys, what do you think of Gemini 3 Pro? Have you used that? Were you impressed? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to Weekly Hour for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.